Hi crafters, it's Simply Pam, and today's card I am making a housewarming card for my sister. They just bought a home and uh, they're moving in this week, so I wanted to make them a little congratulations card. So um, I'm going to be using, this is dark chocolate from Paper Tray Ink, I pre-scored it already to make it easier to fold because it is thick paper. And then this is the Scarlet Jewel, my favorite color. I'm just, oh, I love this color. I don't use it that often though because it's kind of a hard color to use, but uh, I do love it. And then here's my little house. I have not put it together, so I figured it wouldn't take very long, so I thought I'd try and do it on screen. So what I normally do is I actually use scrap paper to glue on. Let me grab it. Yeah. Okay. When I go to, I work from home, and so I have, um, when I have Stephanie print off, instead of throwing it in the recycle bin, I use it as my scrap paper. So, this one, use my Zig glue gun. I think my, my camera's about ready to die, so I better have to do this kind of fast. So, now when this cuts out, it actually cuts out the little lines to show you where to put down the flower box and the um, door. But I always hide those because, well, you know me, I don't ever line things up correctly. <laughs> so, I thought to make things easier, I just ink it so they always show. So, I thought I would um, hide those when I with my gypsy with the high contour button and uh, I like I've liked doing that ever since so you don't see the little lines there we go and this was just a metal brad that I had and I thought it'd be easy to line up because there's no nothing I have to worry about on lining up and I'm not going to use this just because they're not really flower people, but I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it just adds, eh, I'll go ahead and use it. Just adds a little extra color and dimension to the house, I guess. They're just not really flower box people. But, that's okay. And then I got this automatically cut out, but there's nothing behind it. And so I cut out just a scratch people page, uh, piece of vellum. And I thought I would use it. And I'm here. I totally got glue on the inside. Alright. So it has a little window. Okay. So, and then I have about the Martha Stewart grass punch. I've never used it, but I thought I'd try it because I don't like cutting grass out with a Cricut unless it's really large. Because um, it just never cuts, <laughs> it always goes kind of ski wompy. So let's try this out here. See if I can do this. But I cut it. Oh, I did it all. Okay. Wasn't quite sure on that one. This one's a little harder to line up because it's, it's got a lot of little. Oh my gosh, where's the lineup for it? Oh, here we go. That was weird. <laughs> All right, so there's the grass. Cute. I like it. So we we'll cut or put this down. I frame and base. Okay, so this will go here. And so oh it's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna cut it off at yep there. Alright, so I wonder if this would work. 
yeah, I think it'll work if I just go off the edge a little bit. Because that won't matter. That's what I like about this this glue, is that you can go off the edge. It doesn't matter really on it. Alright, so... Yay, it worked. Okay. This is a really, really simple card. So I have um, a congrats stamp somewhere. There it is. And I'm thinking it's from Hero Arts. I didn't keep the cover for it. It's one of my first stamp, um, sentiment stamps. And so I just didn't keep the cover for it at the time. And I'm using the brown, Timber Brown Stays On ink. And because I don't have a really good brown, easy, clean um, ink, I need to get one of those. So that looks good. I'll do that. Yay! I'm gonna put this on my card first before I put the bulky stuff. Oh, let's try this the right way. Oh, I was doing it. Okay. So the brown, I think I mentioned this, all my paper is from Paper Tray Ink. The brown is dark chocolate, the maroon is eh, Scarlet Jewel, the green is Simply Chartreuse, and the cream is called Vintage Cream. I think I called it Basic Cream on my, on my last video, but it's Vintage Cream. So here's for the inside of my card. My sister is so excited to finally get into a house. They've been renting for a lot of years. so. Very excited and happy for them. They have also the two most adorable boys, Luke and Cole. And I am a heavy gluer, as you've noticed. I put dimensionals and everything. So let's see. So I think I have problems getting these off. So I'm trying to center this best as possible. There you go. And this is definitely missing something. It's very bland. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'll show on the pictures because, like I said, I'm running out of battery. So I'll probably um, do some stitching around here and around the card for some extra color on it. So um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.